my son, my one year old is sitting right behind me. Like, I can take it, you know, but my baby could have died. It's First at six, two men now face charges months after they were accused of randomly firing a BB gun at cars. Yeah, and IMPD found them because of new crime fighting initiatives. WRTV's Adam Shumes found one of the victims, a woman shot in the eye and what she's now going through. Like my vision in my eye went out instantly. Instantly went out. For Ayanna Alshire, she says the last couple months have been the most challenging of her life. So I had to like relearn how to do everything like cooking, you know, I have little toddlers, they like to be around me, so I have to like double take. Al Shire says she was shot as she was driving to get food in late May. I'm glad my fiance was in the car because I almost hit a pole and I had like my two little kids in the car, so it was real traumatic, but um, he grabbed the wheel and swerved back over. She says she was in the hospital for roughly a week. The before and after picture shows the trauma she went through. The optic nerve damage she suffered caused her to lose eyesight in her left eye. And I found out I was about 10 weeks pregnant when I was in the hospital. Court documents detail those people who are accused of shooting Ayana didn't just shoot her. The day before, documents say in a span of roughly 25 minutes, the two men damaged four Indigo buses and shot at another driver and also shot two cars using a BB gun. People need to think before they act because you don't know what you're taking away from people. Like you just, you did a careless act and now my vision is gone for the rest of my life. IMPD says it utilized B-Link cameras in the area and surveillance from the Indigo buses to track the shootings back to an SUV. The owner of that SUV and his friend have now been charged with that crime. I think um, when all these tools that we have at our disposal are being utilized to get resolution in cases, to close cases, to hold people accountable. I think it, it speaks to the great work that our detectives are doing. For Ayana, she's just thankful that her kids weren't harmed. I think he would have kept doing it and somebody could have ended up even worse. Just like my son, my one year old was sitting right behind me. Like I can take it, you know, but my baby could have died. In Indianapolis, Adam Shumes, WRTV. Al Shire is now nine months pregnant. She says she hopes to get surgery in that left eye to restore her vision. One of the men charged told police he would pay for her medical bills. Adam mentioned IMPD got help from license plate readers to track down the suspects. This year, IMPD has added 63 license plate readers in the city, and the department hopes to add 150 more next year. Right now, there are a total of 321 around Indy.